It is an unthinkable tragedy. An entire family of five found shot to death in their condo in Abington. Sources tell our I team that this appears to be a murder suicide. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Eben. Investigators call it a horrible, horrible event. And tonight we've learned the names of the victims 40 year old Deirdre Zaccardi, 43 year old Joseph Zaccardi, and their three children. Julie McDonald is in Abington tonight where neighbors say they never saw this coming. This memorial of flowers and candles grows on Center Ave, left behind by family, friends, even strangers. This tragedy impossible for adults in the community to understand, never mind the children who went to school with three innocent victims. A darkness hung over Abington for all of the day Monday as emergency responders, neighbors, and loving relatives and friends found out something terrible had happened at the Zaccardi home. Sources tell the WBZI team it appears to be a murder suicide. It's a crime. It's what it is. It was a crime occurred in that building. And, and three little children are gone forever as a result of this. The kids ride to school called 911 when they pulled up to the Center Ave condo. Inside, police would find five bodies. Parents, Deirdre and Joseph Sicardi and their three children. Alexis was 11. Twins, Nathaniel and Catherine just turned nine. Super fun and loving and uh, like I said, just a normal family. No signs of any trouble. I mean, how can anybody do that? You know, how can anybody do that to anybody but the children? Deirdre Zaccardi's boss remembered her smile, describing the mother as a lovely person, a trusted employee, and valued friend. After families in town were notified of the tragedy, parents and grandparents struggled to explain something that just can't make any sense. You just don't know what's going on in people's lives these days. It's a tough world for a lot of people. And school leaders say that there will be additional counselors brought in to support students during this very difficult time. In Abington, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.